Hello you wonderful people. This is a little, not unboxing, but a haul that I have from Prush or Eve. Um, she has a wonderful channel here on YouTube and I got myself a print, a set of cat stickers and she paints and draws these cats all the time. Um, also other stuff with watercolors and gouache. She streams a lot and her specialty is or are handmade watercolor pans, paints. Um, I got myself four of them which are gorgeous, so much I can tell. It's the chromium oxide green, the Indian throne blue, German umber and copper. Here you can see the four pans that I have. Just let me unwrap them for you. They, the pens were very nicely wrapped in some paper and um, they were set beautifully. And as you can see, the colors are very, the paints are very pigmented and very nice. These watercolors are all handmade. She also had shown in her videos and in her stream um, how she does them. The copper is a new one, it's um, one made with mica pigments and I, so much I can tell it's the shiniest um, copper that I own. Here you can see me swatch all the colors. The dispersion test is shown in real life or, or is not sped up so you can see how the pigments travel in water. Throne blue belongs to my most used blue colors in my current palette and the version of Eve is very beautiful. The chromium oxide green and the German umber are both very opaque. Um, those colors are granulating a lot. I have seen those in my swatches. And the copper is just beautiful. It's very easy to rewet and, ha and has gorgeous shimmer to it. What I really like about this copper that the binder or the base isn't colored, so if you dil dilute it, you don't have a weird um, color underneath the shimmer, it just shimmers less. But you also can get it to be pretty opaque if you want to. I decided to use these pens only for my painting today, which will be uh, shown in this video after I made all the swatches. What I forgot to show you that came with some swatch cards of the colors I ordered and a dot card with zirconium yellow. Zirconium yellow is a beautiful color. I have one pen of this from Dan and it's beautiful. It works very well. It works very well and he here you can see me swatch it too. The subject, the subject that I chose for today's painting is a mockingbird and here you can see me laying down the background for this piece. 
as I mentioned, I used only the Inner Throne Blue German Umber and the Chromium Oxide Green for this painting, which mixed in together, which go together very well. The German Umber and the Inner Throne Blue um, mix into a wonderful warm or cool grey, and even if most use. Um, burnt sienna and ultramarine for their um, greys, I prefer to use umber or burnt umber to mix my neutrals or most of my neutrals, although I like burnt sienna too for other occasions. As you will probably see in my next painting, I've done it already but I haven't edited it yet. So, in this test I want to show you how easy those paints are to re-wet. This is the small mixing palette that I used and only a touch of water and the pigments or the color melts. It's just beautiful to see and I enjoyed using them a lot. As mentioned, Eve is a wonderful, kind person. She makes wonderful art and shares her art and knowledge with everyone on YouTube and has a, job, a shop on Etsy, which is currently closed but will reopen, uh, reopen soon and, as I've heard, move to her side. I will link it down below so you can stay up to date if you like to. She's working on her new paints already and I've seen some wonderful colors um, that she showed in her stream already um, so I'm tempted to shop there again. <laughs> I can say about the colors that I got that they are very good quality, that they are, they are easy to use, very nice, very well pigmented and they perform just as any professional watercolor would perform. So there's no downside to that and I've seen many um, label their videos of trying when they try new watercolors or handmade watercolors. Will they work? Of course they will. Watercolors are pigments and binder and if someone makes it professionally as Eve does, there's not much that can go wrong. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. And Eve uses quality pigments. She's a pigment nerd herself. So she knows what she's doing and she chooses very beautiful colors, just as other paint makers too. Um, so if you're cur curious, take a look at her channel and her site. Um, I'm sure there's something that is interesting for you. And she also has prints and stickers of her art. Um, the stickers I have used already on my sketchbook and they are very good quality. They stick very well. Um, even on my sketchbook that has like a fabric color, it works wonderfully. So there's nothing negative I can say about that. Of course, as you know, I have declared this video as advertisement because of a German law that if I name some brands, <clears throat> other YouTubers, etc., even if I'm not paid for doing so, I have to um, 
show a little advertisement thingy so everyone knows that. I don't know. It's just a weird law. Um, it's ridiculous. I'm not paid by Eve. I have ordered this um, myself. And I have paid for the paints. So this is the disclaimer probably. Um, just so you know. These pants will find a place in one of my to-go palettes. I am sure, because I just love to use them, and the colors are wonderful. I don't have a chromium oxide green in my uh, palette that I use almost daily, but I have it in my Holbein palette, and that's what one of the colors that I really like. Um, Burnt Umber is a color that I use in almost every painting that I have. That I make and in the throne blue belongs to the colors that I like to have in my um, standard palette. I like it even more than ultramarine. Just say no. The copper, uh, copper is gorgeous and in the end you can see how much it shimmers. I have shown it on Instagram the other day and it's beyond beautiful. I have never seen a paint in a pan shimmer so much. Just beautiful. you enjoyed this painting thank you for being here I wish you all a wonderful day I hope to see you soon bye